How are hair shedding and genetic pattern hair loss different? A very common misconception is that permanent hair loss can occur when there is significant hair shedding. Some companies promoting their products will claim that without using their products, you may permanently lose your hair after experiencing hair shedding. I'll discuss how I counsel my patients who are experiencing hair shedding and the differences between hair thinning and hair shedding. It is generally understood that we all shed 50 to 100 hairs a day as a normal process. And this is imperceptible as the rate of regrowth allows for the maintenance of a consistent level of scalp coverage. At any given time, about 90% of your hair is actively growing. This is referred to as the antigen phase of hair growth. About 10% of your hair will be in a resting phase for about three to four months, which is called the telogen phase of hair growth. At the end of the telogen phase, your hair growth just resumes. Greater than normal hair shedding is a characteristic of a condition called telogen effluvium. Telogen effluvium is a term which applies to this sudden onset of significant hair shedding, which typically occurs about three to months after a major stressful event. The stressful event causes the hairs which were actively growing in the antigen phase to prematurely enter the resting phase or telogen stage of hair growth. Regrowth generally occurs without intervention and a return to baseline is anticipated within about one year. Now, aggressive hair shedding similar to telogen effluvium can be seen in certain cases of genetic pattern hair loss. For example, men who have early onset male pattern hair loss starting at about age 17 or 18 can lose most of their hair by the time they're 22. In this situation, hair that's been shed may not grow back at all. In contrast, most genetic pattern hair loss is slower in progression with the reduction in hair density and the thickness of individual hair strands called miniaturization. We have a lot of experience helping men and women with genetic pattern hair loss using our Tricostem hair regeneration system. I developed the customized treatments using a wound healing technology to stimulate hair to grow and thicken, resulting in sustained improvement in scalp coverage for three to five years or longer. Although it can be very upsetting to experience hair shedding, it's unlikely, with some exception, that what you're experiencing will result in permanent hair loss. You may still consider consulting with your medical doctor to determine if there are any other causes that might be contributing to your hair shedding, such as changes in hormone levels or fluctuations. I hope this information from my experience helped you. If you're interested in recommendations for your individual situation, you may contact us through our websites or call our offices to schedule a consultation. Thank you.